What does Overwatch 2 need to get back on top? Let's have a look. It has been over two years since Overwatch 2 was launched and Overwatch 1 was replaced. Saying that it has been a rough raid is a bit of an understatement. You know what? The issues already started two years before Overwatch 2 was released and because of the content and communication drought. It actually all started right after they announced Overwatch 2 at BlizzCon 2019. And overall this has left us with a rather skeptical and negative perception about Overwatch as a game. To the point where some people that just are very casual and play the game once in a while, those are even aware of that drop in grace that Overwatch went through. And it makes sense. Overwatch 1 was an award-winning game when it came out, and it came out of nowhere. Overwatch 2 uh, was more the result of uh, failed ambitions. Now, this video is not about looking back at those failures. We've discussed those at length. In this video, I want to look forward. I want to look at what the Overwatch team needs to do to get the Overwatch 2 community back on their side, or at least to get them a little closer to those Overwatch 1 glory days. Now, I know that some of you are already convinced that that is impossible, that it is just a matter of time or a matter of uh, Marvel Rivals releasing to finally see Overwatch die. And you know what? That's fine. The thing is, it is still possible. They can still climb back to the top and they might actually have started already. See, something that is getting overlooked a lot is that within the wider competitor base of Overwatch, being all of the other life service shooters, a lot of games are actually struggling. A lot. We have seen some of them rise alongside Overwatch, like Apex Legends. But even Apex is currently having the lowest numbers they've had in a really long time. We've also seen others coming in with very explosive numbers to just see them dwindle away again after a few weeks or months. Like the finals, for instance. By which I do not want to say that nobody plays the finals anymore, just to make that clear. But then there are the games that get pulled after just a few weeks, like Concord. And that's because this is a very competitive space. That's what you get with live service models, of course. And within that very competitive space, Space, Overwatch is actually managing to grow right now. And I'm not talking about them doubling their numbers, but in the last few months there have been reports of growth. Now these reports are not official, you should always take them with a grain of salt, but if you play the game yourself, you have noticed that there's an influx of new players. Those are the ones that you yell at. So even with their aggressive and at times ridiculous monetization, with all of the grievances we have with the game that get posted every single day, a lot of people seem to be enjoying the game. And that includes myself. And I'm pretty sure there's a huge part of you that still enjoys playing it too. And that is in part because they have been ramping up their engagement with the community. They have been listening. They have been taking our feedback and putting it into practice. Even so much so that they opened up Pandora's box. They started talking about 6 versus 6. They're going to do tests in season 14 for 6 versus 6. I made a video on that topic a few weeks ago. So if you want to go more in depth, go check that video. With them kind of addressing the topic and then Announcing these tests has definitely helped to gain some of the trust of the community. A little bit. But, as I've said before, this is not going to be the thing that is going to bring Overwatch back. No matter how passionate you are about 6 vs 6, you are probably in that part of the community that only has 5 vs 5 holding them back from playing the game more. But, in general, the game will need more to kind of reinstate it to its former glory. See, I think this is kind of the story of the boiling frog. Sounds like a nasty story, but let me explain. If you put a frog in water and you slowly start to heat up that water, the frog will not notice that it's getting cooked till it's actually too late. Yeah, told you. It's a nasty story. And it's not exclusive to frogs. It's actually the reason that we in the West find ourselves in this very polarized society right now. It's part of the problem. And by the way, don't try this at home with any frogs. Leave the frogs alone. Come on, guys. The opposite also works. If Blizzard kind of slowly keeps improving features, adding new heroes, adding new maps, for those of us that play it on a daily basis or even a weekly basis, the difference is not going to be big enough to break that kind of general sense of anger. I guess we can call it anger or discontent maybe that's better someone that hasn't played the game in over a year that comes back today is definitely going to notice the difference and some of you have been in my comments telling me just that but for the larger part of the community they need to go bigger they need to come in with a bang they need to do something that is going to turn heads and that is not going to be a new hero or new mode or new map nor is it going to be six versus six or even them dropping all of the cosmetic prices which i do not think is going to happen ever i mean while they might be growing in player numbers i still think that they're not making enough profit, that the big goons on top are not happy. But that's something for a different video. I also think it's not going to be that mobile game that they have been working on according to some rumors. Well, it's not rumors, that was actually in Jason's book. And by the way, I don't think that mobile game is going to be a port like a lot of people fear, but again, something for a different video. Now, I joked in a previous video that it might be Overwatch Stray, which is not going to happen. That would be a PR disaster. But I do think that the new thing that they do, that new feature, needs to be big enough to warrant the name of Overwatch Stray. 
country. Something that is so different that it shocks all of us. And I think they are working on just that. A few weeks back, I reported that they had a job listing on the Blizzard website and that they were looking for a few people within the marketing department to help them roll out a major new feature for Overwatch. It was a six month contract. They needed to help with the communication, community management, all that stuff. Now you do not do those types of hires for features like uh, drives or something new in the competitive mode. You do that for features that are going to be a shocker. Good. Because not only do they need to do this to get the community excited, they own it to themselves to do this. Look, I don't talk about this a lot anymore, but yeah, I'm still pissed off because we did not get that PvE that they promised us back in 2019. On the other hand, I do understand how we got here to the situation, and I do know that they're just as pissed as we are. On top of that, there's no use in just kind of hitting that button every single video. But on the other hand, back when they canceled PvE, Team 4 said that we're going to be focusing on PvP Overwatch. Now, focus does not only mean that you cut away the stuff that you don't want to work on but it also means that you're going to take that one thing that you're focusing on and lift it to a higher level in other words if you cut pve pvp needs to grow and again i think that is exactly what they're doing now what is that well, if you had asked me that question a few months ago, I would have said, I don't know, could be anything. Today, however, I'm more convinced than ever that it is an ability customization feature. In other words, talents that we have been testing during the Halloween event. And if you've been watching all of my videos, you know, because I made plenty of videos on that topic. In case you missed them, I'll link it below. But look, even if it's not that feature, even if they're working on something completely different, it needs to be big. We need that what the f moment. We need to have our interest peaked again because that slowly nudging us forward. It took games like No Man's Sky five years of slowly nudging the game forward. Get in a place where people forgave them for all the things they did wrong at the start. Five years at least. Some people have not forgiven them yet. <laughs> and in today's industry, within this specific genre, with some big competitors getting ready to launch their game, uh, it's simply not going to cut it. Now, when it comes to PvE, well, I've said this before, I still think the dream is not dead. I do think, however, that it's not going to be Team 4 that is going to be picking up that dream. And it is going to take quite a few years before we find out who picked it up and what they're doing with it. Anyways, what do you think Overwatch needs? And what could be that big bang thing for you? Let me know in the comments. No, however, that was if you like this video give it a thumbs up it always helps me out i also want to thank my patrons i could not make these videos without you guys you have my eternal gratitude now you too can also become part of the omnic post family over on patreon.com slash the omnic post go have a look if you have a few minutes left maybe check out this video click it but above all take care of yourself take care of each other bye bye